I like showing off the, the one persona that you don't see at work or you don't see at home. Just make people smile, laugh, or get impressed. My name is Mary Baquez. Um, I started dancing since very little. My mom found um, that I have, she called beautiful lines, because I had long arms and long uh, legs. <laughs> um, I call it a lanky, <laughs> but she saw it on the, on the, I guess on the positive side, and she put me in ballet. When I first moved, to Vancouver, the first team I ever uh, danced with was Group America. First team um, who opened the doors for me and I was fresh, fresh, fresh out of the boat. <laughs> I represented uh, Canada two years in a row and we won both times silver and brought the silver back. We won the gold and uh, Casino Reda Salsa, twice in a row. You definitely need to train your body. Um, try to exercise regularly. You know, there are times that you need to train hard, but in the end, remember why you're doing that and enjoy it and smile. <laughs> it takes me a lot of mental preparation for sure to be on a stage. Like you prepare so much, you train so much for that one day. But when that one day arrives, all you think about is enjoy it. I think I just come up to this point in which it's just, okay, now it's uh, my turn to <sighs> breathe it all out and try to put on a good show. My family kind of got united and say, hey, um, you might not be able to be as good dancing, maybe get a better <laughs> a real job, I guess. Unfortunately, dancing for me has been a hobby. And I tried, like I, it's, for me it's natural to go and make it a priority sometimes, but I have a job and I have other things to do, right? So, because I never pursued it as a career. I have my, my degree in something different. And if I could go back and remember when I was a kid, I wanted to pursue this career. I wanted to continue dancing. I put it on the side because of other reasons. I studied tourism, I studied uh, graphic design. I went for these other branches. And I feel like I could have been a better dancer. When I started, I remember when I started dancing, <laughs> I was generally the youngest in the team. I just noticed now I'm one of the oldest ones, and that makes you think, all right, like, am I going to become a dance instructor then? Or <laughs> like, is this the time? And it's, it's when I think, well, I don't really want to become a dance instructor. All I want is to dance and perform. But then when is it? When is the expiry date? I, I don't know, but in the meantime, as long as I keep looking fit <laughs> and take care of myself and I can stretch it as long as I can stretch it, I will continue dancing on the side forever. <laughs>